Oh, that's the post-mortem chair. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it so, was right in front of us. What the heck is this place? It's a cat lounge. A cat lounge? A cat cafe? Yeah. I mean, like, do they have cats here? They have cats oh, here. There's a cat. Look, there's a cat right there. So you could adopt them too? And have coffee with them. <laughs> let's go. Let's let's see. Check it. Do you have a friend here? This one. That's the one I was look. See That's okay. cool. yeah. You want a snack? Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> love him. We're actually getting his siblings today. Yeah. Oh. Uh, basil and sriracha. Oh. Alright, this guy's stuck. He's been stuck. Like, I can't get down. Like, Here's the catalog. And it says Pesto is a three and a half month old cow kitty. He loves toys and playing, but he's still working on trusting humans. He will need a patient person to love on love on him. Wanna adopt Pesto? Make your way to Cat Cafe in St. Augustine. Breakfast bagels. Sandwiches. Cool. They got little cupcakes. So these aren't for the cats, right? They do got some catnip though. They were all adopted from here. And these are the available kitties. I love this one right here. So cute. So you can buy the book. Hey, we should open up one of these. That would be so much fun. And here's a book on how to do so. A lot of these cats come from a local shelter. Mm -hmm. I think this is a great way to it's perfect. advertise cats and play with them. Because they can be in there just hanging out. Getting played with all day. Didn't some lady just come in right now? She was like, is this a... She thought it was a place that she can come and have coffee and bring her cat to play. Right. Like a kitty cat daycare. Yeah. Yeah. Is it good? It's so good. Is it? Yes. And these girls are doing great. Yes, they are. Check it out, fam. Some haunted dolls for sale. Might grab one later so we could put it under Tiffany's pillow. We share the same bed, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready to go in here? Whoa. Okay. There's a reason why she's not following us. <laughs> 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 All right, fam, so we are in the famous Casadega, but in Florida. I had a video that I published about a month ago on this very same channel where I went to a psychic medium town in New York where my house is, our house up there in New York. Well, I was talking about a psychic medium town that's in Florida that I have filmed at in the past, but I didn't get to see this place. I'm trying to set it up with the owners to see if they'll let us come here in the middle of the night. This is a super active museum that has so much it has dolls it has even a painting that people refuse to hang up because every time they hang it up the place would catch on fire so they have it here somewhere i don't know where the painting is it's, she said it's like and it's propped up somewhere it's propped up but you know what i think the coolest thing is well i think there's a lot of cool things in here but she said they have a robert the doll that was actually in caged with the actual Real robert, robert the doll. doll museum there donated it to here Okay, yeah, and that's another thing too. If you have any haunted objects, you donate it here. What's the name of the place? It's called Sea Green. Sea Green, um, Casadega's Haunted Museum. Yeah, this place wasn't here the last time I visited the Hotel Casadega. She said it's been here for five years, I think she said. And I think that's right around the time that I went there. But anyways, we're gonna show you around. There's a lot of creepy things here. There's even a chair where they used to take photographs of the dead and that was a thing back in our early american history where they used to do post-mortem photos and this is a chair that used to hold the dead and it was taken There's a apart. story behind that too yeah so I'll, we'll tell you about we'll tell you a little bit later but this is june's okay so june was the owner, original owner and she passed away this was her office um that's where she did a lot of her things however look at this chair that just caught my attention june's chair sit in it and die what <laughs> Okay, guess who's not sitting in that chair? They said just an hour before we got here, motion sensors and stuff in here, and they said- The alarm was going they off. They were going off like crazy. She said just like a few days ago, one of the incense down in the office like flew like four feet off the shelf. They did encourage me to film in here though because they said that it's active even during the day. And they said like, hey, we're excited if you catch something, but oh my gosh, it's it's got a creepy feel to it in here. If you see a white mist when you come in here too, they say that that could be June. It actually 100% is June. 
is June and she used to own this building. I set that up right here. So this is all Casadega, Florida, like history. Do you see these dolls? Yeah, those are the, the Shining dolls. No. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting them things to move. <laughs> They're laughing. Why? What made them move? I don't know. I think they're like motion censored. Oh, wow. All right, let's put this. All right, that was just me. Hey, June, if you're anywhere in the building with us, make that go off. You don't have to make go off now, but just let us know that you're passing by and saying hello. I want to leave that on. The Fox Sisters in the beginning of the spiritualism. Oh, the Fox the, Sisters. The Fox Sisters, yeah. yeah. Is that them? Came from New York, them and who else? It was a man, So too. why aren't they moving? Because you're by them. I think it was the light that made them go off. Hey, hi. Don't move. What? You have a spider crawling on you. No. Uh -oh. Stop moving. Ah! Ah! I feel something. Get it off. See it at all anywhere. But I. Well, I'm about to take my shirt off. What are they saying? I don't know. All right. Oh, hey, look, Paul. It's a spoiler. All right, they're moving quite a bit now. That's what she did it. Oh, she did it. Oh, oh look, Lilydale says. That's Gatorland. So there's a lot of, and she said this, the beginning of the self-guided tour is some of the history here in Casadega. Oh, is that a shrunken head? Wait, is that real? I'm gonna take a picture in here. I just stopped recording right now. I don't know if it's in my mind, but I feel like there's a spider crawling Look, on me. You need to bring your EMF meter over here. It says the energy inside this predated 80s mirror sets off EMF frequencies. Do you feel it? Stare if you dare. How about I just take a picture instead? Yeah, I don't have a EMF meter. You should set your REM pod over here. The REM pod? Mm -hmm. Let me go grab it. But I left it over there for June. All right, June, since you're not gonna touch the REM pod right now, Decided to. Oh God! Oh, Dang! They're laughing. You guys are creepy. Put it right there. See the name of the place that we're at right now? There it is, right there. Sea Green's Haunted History House Museum, and it's in a psychic medium town, which we're gonna show you in a little bit. Super cool place. I want to say this one's a little cooler than. I really like this place. The Lilydale. Yeah. A little bit more open to the public i mean it still has the same kind of creepy vibe but it's more welcoming if that makes any sense they're both welcoming but i don't know i like this one better just because of this alone she said that there's children in here too did i tell you that i can't remember if i told you that or not she said that she doesn't understand the significance of why they're here but you can feel them at times like rush past you you can feel them like pulling the bottom of your skirt your dresses or your shirts or didn't they say this used to be a post office some years ago yeah the front part where we were standing earlier okay what is this coffin used to view dead children in the early 1900s oh my god <laughs> that's sad that just made my belly hurt oh check this out so i did a segment on this and it's uh saved by the bell they used to put a bell long time ago they would have a string tied to like the toes or maybe like by the hands of the corpse because they didn't have like the technology that we have today. So sometimes people would be buried still alive and that would be an indication that the person is still there and they're still alive if they buried them and then they would have a little bell at the up at the top of their, their headstone. You know, that's where the string. term dead ringer came from. And also saved by the bell, yeah. that's and do you know that the reason why they had um people working in the graveyard overnight was to listen for the bells that's where the term mm. graveyard shift came from the graveyard shift all these cool terms mm -hmm. look at that but yeah that's what they used to do they would tie a bell up at the top i mean here's a whole schematic on how they did it and i don't want to read that but you can pause the video if you want read it it's like this eye that i've literally been it's like that we knew we were coming here or something so for people that don't know I have really bad arthritis in my shoulder, and there's a shoulder x-ray. Hmm. That's what happens when you walk around with a dislocated shoulder for two months. I have all sorts of oddities in here. 
This almost reminds me of the antique shop that I went to in Virginia. They got all these strange things. I believe in October they turned this into a haunted attraction that you walk through and get scared, you know, for Halloween. What is this? Oh, this is the Robert the Doll. That's the one that was in the thing with him. Oh, yeah, that's a completely different looking Robert the Doll. Our Robert, although a replica of the original, was made in his likeness and spent all his life keeping the original company inhabiting original Robert's energy. Look up Robert the Doll and learn all about is mischievous. So this Robert the Doll spent a lot of time with the original Robert the Doll, and you can see they have this thing in clothes. Oh, that's chair. the post-mortem chair. Oh my gosh, it so, was right in front of us. The story behind this chair was there was, I can't remember exactly what house it was in, but there was these people that were remodeling their house and they found this chair with this doll, and but it didn't have any legs on it. And then like some time later, their dog was digging up the yard and found the legs to the chair. So clearly whoever hid this chair took it took apart. the time to take it apart and bury it separately and they put it back together. And here it is with the original doll. Wow. Look at, what is that? Is that a picture of a dead little girl? <gasps> oh my God. That's a see. post in, in the same chair? Katie is a haunted doll. Let's see. Postmortem, the beautifully constructed chair once used for, yeah. Oh yeah, it was to for, um, photograph deceased children. Oh wow. Katie is a haunted doll found located inside the wall. That's the connection to the children. It's through this chair. I didn't even think That's of the that. connection. I don't think the, even, the woman even knew it. that. Yeah, we should tell them that. For sure. Hold on, you know what? Are you gonna go tell them? No. Are you gonna put the thing by it? Yeah. Them? That's the connection. That makes... It makes a lot of sense, right? Yeah. So one of the biggest things that was Joey, she's kind of gave us a little rundown of the place and she had mentioned how there's children that will always run by people and sometimes they'll pull pranks and kind of laugh and people have heard the children before but there's no connection to these children i believe this is the connection in fact i'm gonna bring a psychic medium in here to maybe confirm that in the near future when we do a video here overnight let me know if that's something that you want to see probably be on my other channel but hey i want to give you a first hand look there's still more to see just put the rem pod right there provided for my friend paranormal patrick get close to that see if it goes off okay yeah so you can take photos of loved ones in heaven it's very cool kind of strange but yeah they would do seances they still do seances to this day There's a heaviness in here. I don't know if it's because of all the Ouija boards. In hallway. Come, come in here. Look at all these Ouija boards. Oh my gosh. I think it was a postmaster. He was out back and like instantly got like a cardiac arrest. His heart stopped. And they say that he also haunts this building. And I mean, it's not like a, a terrible haunting or anything. He's not evil. But what is it that he does? Why did they, that light just... I just started blinking. Oh, that scared me. I didn't see her. They call them spirit boards. Want to play on one? <laughs> I didn't see her. <laughs> well, this is probably a picture that was taken either here or Lilydale. And you know that they used to make the tables like float? Probably one of those seance tables right there. The personal reading and seance table of Casadega founder, GOP Colby. What is all that? I have no idea, they're like letters. What's crazy though is right in this room, I got like a, kind of like a pain in my chest. It's almost like, like a- My shoulder, but I think it's just my shoulder. Whoa. The Island of the Dolls. I gotta read this. Oh, <laughs> dude. Why do you need to stay recording? Well, I mean, I was trying to read this about the Island of the Dolls. This is what I just felt right now. Turn around. I felt this. 
Okay, that was, I was, no. Oh, you didn't God. do that. I swear to God. You I'm promise. Like, I promise my life. Day What's before. funny about that is like I was thinking in the back of my head because I felt something on my neck. And they say that when spirits touch you, it so sometimes feels like hair is kind of like kind of greeting you. Like almost. Maybe you have hair on you. Like that or maybe you walk through a spider web. It's kind of like a, a little tickle. And I was thinking that in the back of my mind because I felt something on my neck. But then I felt like a it was a tug or like almost like a. And I thought, okay, maybe Tiffany's trying to get me to go that way. You sure you didn't Babe, touch me? I did. I swear on my, I'm not even gonna swear. Like, but no, I did not touch you. I promise you. I promise. I was sitting here. I went like this to my pocket because I'm like, what is so poking out of my pocket? And that was, was like, cool. That was cool. That was more than likely a little kid because it was a low. It was real low. She says that that happens in here. If you don't know about the Island of Dolls, a.k.a. the Isla de la Muñecas. caught it on camera, maybe. Oh, they might have. There is a camera right there. Maybe we can see your shirt get pulled. Dude, I'm telling you, more than likely, you could probably see my shirt, like, something in, in the back of it, in the, right here. I wonder what time it is. Right there. Let's see what time it is. 1.59. Yeah, save the time. So, it'd be, like, 1.55 around okay. that time. We're going to try to see if we can get that on camera and see if they could see the back of my shirt moving. Because that, uh, that was awesome. That was really cool. Kind of creepy, but... The Isla de la Muñecas in Mexico, pretty cool place. People say it's not haunted, but it's charmed. But every time you go there, and there's a whole backstory to it, this man found this doll like washed up ashore. And out of respect, because he thought that this doll more than likely belonged to a deceased little girl, he hung it up on a tree. And then he started hearing whispers after that. And just kind of in honor of maybe that doll or maybe that little deceased girl that he knew about, he started hanging up all kinds of dolls and now it became like a tourist attraction and everybody that comes and visits brings more dolls. So I think that's what this is in honor of, the island of the dolls. And you can go visit that place in Mexico. But it's crazy that like right when I get in here. Look at those dolls. Bro, this place is haunted AF. What is this? What is Oh, look at this guy. 19. Right, I'm kind of blind because it's the light. I'm watching. I'm watching. 40s ventriloquist dolls. These double trouble came into us as a set. You have to be careful when they are part, when they are put together, though, due to their history of poltergeist activity. Previous owner and donor decided it was time for the new home for these troublemakers, and of course, they found one with us. Wow. Maybe that's what touched me. Something that's connected to these guys. Haunted chair. chair of death was the favorite chair of a stripper named of a stripper named thomas Bugs, Bug, Bug, busby who was convicted of in 1702 of the murder of his father-in-law daniel audi who was his oh he was strangled while sitting in the chair where's the chair i don't know because i know it's not is that it right there there's a chair why is it under that chair though i don't see a chair right here that's a that's a very that's a doll chair, chair. yeah that's the only chair I see. Oh. Dude, no clickbait. It was like, like something yeah, like I that. I promise you it wasn't me because I have my hands like this and I was pulling stuff out of my pocket because there's a and lot it, of stuff. And it there. wasn't subtle enough to be like, you know, when your shirt is kind of stuck and it just kind of falls, you know, no, it was, it was a legit touch. And they also leave some of their Halloween props in here too. Yeah, they said it's to, um, to balance out the energy in here. Huh. Oh, look, some stuff on the Titanic. Pretty cool. These are death masks? The Winchester House. So this is like history on all these cool little haunted locations. Don't look. <laughs> oh, that's kind of creepy. What is that? these old school lunchboxes I love them every time oh, I see them it's so nostalgic these are voodoo the word itself means God creator or great spirit that's the word the word voodoo means that's what it's saying keeping you in touch with your ex it's a voodoo doll <laughs> <laughs> oh wow that was interesting oh that's the devil's chair Oh, that's a replica of the devil's chair. That's probably what they were talking about. Yeah. So not far from here, and I did a whole segment on the devil's chair. They say that if you sit in this chair, known as the devil's chair, that Satan himself will visit you 
and completely curse your life. I'm a big skeptic. I sat in the chair. You'll have to watch the video and see what happens. There's a whole backstory to that chair and I did kind of sh share, not chair, the history on it. And it's, a, it's kind of a sad story, believe it or not. That's what it looks like, the devil's chair did a whole write-up on it. I'll just read it really quick. The Devil's Chair in Casadega, Florida is a graveside bench in the cemetery that borders Casadega and Lake Helen. According to one local legend, an unopened can of beer left on the chair will be empty by morning. In some accounts, the can is opened and in others, the beer is simply gone, even though the top is never opened. The devil is sometimes said to appear to anyone so bold as to sit in the chair at midnight. Well, there's the thing. I never sat there on min at midnight. It was during the day because they don't allow anybody. In fact, maybe that's why the place is so haunted that they lock it up at night. So you get caught in there, you'll get arrested instantly. It should be noted that trespassing... Oh, there you go. It should be noted that trespassing in the cemetery after closing is unlawful. But they have a devil's chair beer. What? I keep getting touched on my neck. And it feels oh. like your hair. No. Well, I was just standing behind you facing this way. So maybe that's what it was. There's no way that your hair got on my neck. You know, I never heard the thing go off. Yeah. Something touched me in here. Can you touch me again? I was standing like right here, okay? Can you do that again? I'm gonna zoom out. Hold on. I appreciate you touching me when you did. That was cool. Very exciting. You can follow me if you want. Just in here, but not home. Okay. Not allowed to follow me home. Sports fifty. What was that? Completely missed this. Hot spot for activity. I didn't even see that when I was over. Nope. So there there is something in, there's something here, some sort of energy. They're watching. It says, I'm watching, they're watching. I wonder if it's when you open that up, it's because you see the dolls behind you. Maybe? I don't know, is that a haunted mirror? I don't know. Creepy. I'm looking to see if anything wants to show in front of the camera. You've been talking to it too. I could just seen something fly else fly above your head. I mean, we are in Florida. Okay, unfortunately, we didn't get the meter to go off the REM pod, but maybe it's a different story. We spent a little bit more time here at nighttime, so we got a lot more to see. We're gonna take you around Casadega, Florida. Maybe we'll go and through the fairy forest. I'm down with that. This is one of my favorite places. I really like this place. Like. I have to come here. And it's what? It was $10 to come $10. in? $10. And everything goes back into the museum. And you know what? They're the coolest owners. Please come check this place out. If you ever come to Casadega, Florida. How about this? You ever come to visit Orlando, Florida? This is like a 30-minute drive from Orlando. Maybe 40 minutes. It's not that far. Okay? If you're into spirits and ghosts and fun stuff like that, creepy stuff, mysterious stuff, come pay this place a visit everybody's really cool here everything's kind of owned by psychic mediums they're really open to talking to you and they love when you come in here and share the experience like you could bring like i was like hey can i grab my rim pod and some ghost hunting equipment absolutely they're cool like that so make sure you mention me and tiffany's name though if you do visit maybe they'll let us come here more often to hang out and do some cool videos so. whoa rewind this what? Hold on, stop. The, I'm gonna pull up my phone uh -huh. and film. It looked like as soon as you started walking away, something just like walked behind you. That was pretty cool. What we just saw right now it was an orb. And I'll that, send you this. And you thought at first that it was maybe something else, like maybe yeah. like something behind me, but it was actually in front of me. Hey, let me know if we see any more orbs. I went ahead and put it on wide mode that we can catch a little bit more. I have to say the heaviest room, once you get into the that hallway where that post-mortem chair is into the Ouija board room and the little doll room. It's it's pretty heavy there. And that's where that's where your boy got touched by I don't know what. Was it a child? Was it something else? Was it June? Hey, wait a minute. That white 
thing you saw. Was it a mist or was it an orb? Um, because they say that June, June will place. show up as a white mist. Yeah, let me go. Hey, June, are you in here with us? You know what I love about this place too is there's no like music playing. Like you could actually come in here and do a little mini investigation. No, it is behind you. See, look. It's behind me. I think. Look. I don't know. Oh no, I maybe to... it is. No, it is in front of you. See, look, because it goes to this side of the wall. Let me see. Right. This is a video of a video of a video. Right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, it's like it's an orb. That's pretty cool. Pretty neato. 100% gonna bring you back here again. Oh. Oh, yeah. Remember they said that there was a painting that's leaned up. Oh yeah, we missed that painting. Yeah. Cause I see that, but that's four here, so. Yeah, to give us something to come back, come back to. Want to take one to the clown cottage? And we could dress it up as a clown. Now I asked, why are these dolls haunted and what their backstory is? And I guess this place is so haunted that these dolls that came here became haunted guilty by association, if you will. I don't know if some of them were here before. Maybe they were donated, but supposedly they're all haunted. Maybe by the children. See, there's that Robert the doll. And they have one here on display as well. Okay. All right, so this is the Casadega, Florida. And they have very similar older style homes. Here. Doesn't this kind of have the same vibe, but almost the same vibe as Lilydale? I don't know. I just like it a lot better here. I think it's because the people so far have been so welcoming and so awesome, and yeah, um, and the people here are legit. Like they just told us some things that we didn't even ask for. We didn't get to really and talk to anybody in Lilydale, though. No, that's true too, because yeah. nobody wanted to talk to us. Yeah, I mean, I, we did try. Yeah, yeah, we did try. We didn't even, we, and we didn't put it on camera, but we did. We tried talking to people and they were just like, mm, outsider, go away. Yeah. But here, everybody was just so Super friendly. talking and just, it was awesome. A deer. Do you see the deer? I see this house. Easy keeper. Easy keeper. All of these homes, you cannot own the land. Very similar to Lilydale. And most everybody in here are psychic mediums. And they have like the little signs outside Look at there. all the aliens. <laughs> oh, that is cool. You have to be approved by a board too, but yeah, you don't own the land. I wonder if this is the park. There is a, I think it that said, is, yeah. It said closed from dusk till dawn, and I think that's so it. So this town of Casadega is set up very similar to the Lilydale town. I mean, very narrow roads, historic homes, and of course that feeling like you're being watched. Now, where are we going now? A fairy garden. A fairy garden. I feel like we're back in the that same little walk through garden that we were yeah. up north. Remember they had the pet cemetery? Yeah. I wonder if they have a pet cemetery here. Oh my gosh, that's so big. I didn't realize how big it was. Mm -hmm. Is that a wind chime made out of spoons and forks? Probably because that's pretty creative. Everything happens for a reason. It's facts. It is. I love all the trails. I don't know which way to go. Let's go this way. Cool. So bring a permanent marker if you want to tag this little hut. Hmm. It's standing right underneath it. What is this? Short power. I don't think I'm six foot tall. Like, I'm like just right under, but hey, this says I am, so hey, we're cool. I don't know if this fairy trail is haunted, but some say that it is. You know, when I was a kid, I was obsessed with these little playhouses. My parents never got me one. So when I became a parent, guess what I got for my kids? Little playhouse and those little play kitchens. Oh, a planchet? Cool. What else is that? Like, what is that a drink? It looks like a little bottle of liquor. So you're that kind of tree. <laughs> <laughs> the founder of Casadega, I believe his last name was Colby. He was given a vision of this place during a seance and it had to be, it had to have so much water beneath it. It was like the perfect place to be that was kind of a sister town. So this place was given to him in a vision. So I thought that was pretty cool. A guy named Tyler here. Oh, okay. Aww. 
Rest in peace, Tyler. Well, he passed away last year. September 13th, 2004. It was my daughter's age. What the heck? Poor guy. That's horrible. What's pretty unique about Casadega, Florida, is that there's quite a few hills. And there's not a whole lot of hills in Florida, especially this part of central Florida. I mean, you got a couple hills here and there, but not, not like this. Now, this is going down, and that's kind of going up as an incline. It's pretty cool. Babe, look at this. So, remember your friend Tracy? Yeah. Her name's Tracy Rose. Yeah. There's a bulb here that says Tracy Rose. Really? Big shout out to Tracy Rose. Hopefully she's watching this video. Hey, come here though. You're gonna miss out on something. Look how cool this is. What? Look at that. You can be a fairy for the day. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Happiness, not in another place, but this place for, not for another hour, but this hour. Here's one of those Polaroids and someone's vape, too. I'm not sure what this is of. Sounds like some rumbling. Hear it? Mm -hmm. Sounds like thunder, but there's no dark clouds. Carlos! Fairy Tale Cafe. This is so awesome. Oh, this is my favorite. Whoa, I love this. Cool. Get out. <laughs> That's cool. You want some poo? Why does Tigger stink? <laughs> because he plays with poo. He plays with poo. Definitely has a fairy tale feel to the vibe as they're walking through. It's it's pretty awesome. But I could see it just like any woods at nighttime, it being a little creepy if you're walking through here. You're not allowed to walk through here at nighttime anyways. But hey, maybe we'll get a chance to when I come back and go to that haunted museum, haunted doll museum in the middle of the night. See how they have the signs, medium. This guy says healer, he's a doctor. Pretty cool, maybe. Heal my shoulder. Maybe he does holistic medicine, you know? There's a little bit more space between houses here. Yeah. I mean, in some areas. Lilydale was like right next to each other on everything. Yeah. Well, here's another garden. Myers Prayer Garden. This is probably one of my favorite hotels I've ever stayed at, known as the Hotel Casadega. And they do readings inside that hotel. You would love that hotel. Kind of has like Queen Mary vibes. You know, it's old, historic. Oh, it's Seneca, Seneca Park. That's the name of the Native Americans in upstate New York. I don't think we had Senecas here in Florida. I could be wrong though. Look at these houses. Did I already show some of these? Shout out to Joey, Tiffany, and it's with one F. Mm -hmm. She threw the, the F away because she ain't give no Fs. <laughs> <laughs> and big shout out to Riley too. And I forgot that other medium's name that we met. The with red the red hair. hair. Yeah, she was really cool. Oh, what was her name? She was so nice. Yeah, whoa. I feel like I'm in the Edward Scissorhands neighborhood now. I noticed a lot of signs here say healer. A lot more so than, oh, did any of the signs in Lilydale say, say healer? Uh, I don't know, to be honest with you, I don't remember. There's Maybe another one, healer, Jody, Jody Martinez. It's a whole entire complex. Cool. Sydney Psychic Medium. And then here is the Hotel Casadega, which by the way, they have an amazing Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. And we just ate there, it's really good. Just to give you an idea, there's the Haunted History Museum. That's where we went. My new favorite place in Florida to hunt some ghostesses, but it's right across the street from the Hotel Casadega, which I was a little, thrown off when I went in there. I saw this sign right at the front door and it said, and it was while I was filming, it said that if you're doing any paranormal investigating or even filming, that you can't and you're not allowed unless you have written permission by the owner. So if you do come there to the Hotel Casadega, be really careful taking photos, doing videos. I mean, you just never know. So try to get permission from the owner. I would love to do a video there in the future once again but I'll have to, of course, get some permission from the owner. And everybody seems pretty friendly and cool out here, so I don't think that'd be a problem. Just found something really cool back here. Whoa. 
says no trespassing. It says stop and push the button. Look how old that is. It is. A couple days ago, I got a phone call from my friend Robbie. You may know him from Swamp Brothers, AKA Get Swamped YouTube channel. Subscribe there. I did a video a couple years ago about something tragic that happened to him. He has alligator, crocodile rescue, has tons of reptiles, venomous ones, bunch of other things too. He had this leucistic alligator, which I think there's only like, there's less than 10 of them in the entire world. Very rare alligator. I think even at one time, somebody offered him millions of dollars for this alligator and he was like, nope. He loved this alligator, his name was Snowball. Well, somebody broke onto his property a couple years ago lit his sheds on fire that had little baby alligators and crocodiles. I mean, it was terrible. And the one alligator that was missing in one of those sheds was Snowball, his leucistic alligator. And I think all of that was kind of like a cover up. That way, if they came, they would have thought, oh, well, you know, all the alligators died anyway. So 100% this alligator's missing. It's been missing, probably got sold in the black market. But anyways, he called me up a couple days ago. He's like, hey, look, man, I was at this auction and I picked something up for you. I thought about you and you have to come by, come take a look at it. I'm gonna give it to you. How come I have a feeling like it's something haunted? <laughs> I don't know, I got that vibe. But anyways, we're, we're at the, the Get Swamped Ranch right now. I gotta give him a call and have him let me in. I'm sure he's got cameras out here. I feel like it's like Jurassic Park, the entrance. I don't know. <laughs> Just got let in by Z. Good morning, live venomous reptiles. Oh, the, okay, so you see right over there? These right where the, that, that was the shed that got burned down. Yeah. Really sad. I think all the lemurs are in there. Oh yeah, oh look, I see them right I see them jumping around in there. Yeah. What's what going on here? I've never been in here. Oh my goodness. This place looks haunted with snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, look at, what is all this? Dude, this, this is my cool. my favorite, favorite ghost hunter. Yo, it's, that's what's up, man. How come I feel like it's something scary? <laughs> <laughs> You'll understand in a minute. Wait, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay. Get that right there. All right. All right. I got my cross. Just in case it's all yeah, light. Yep, yep. You got your cross, it. okay. Demonic. Okay. All right, just sit there. Is it like a haunted snake or something? No, dude. No. That's all okay. you, brother. You can open your no. eyes. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> it's Hitler in adult form. <laughs> it is. What the? Wait, it really is? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is, dude. It, it was there. And it's got a dress underneath. And we know how Hitler used to love to wear women's clothing and stuff. So it might be. Oh, look at, look at her. She's like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm not bringing that inside of the car right now. <laughs> Because this thing is so cool. Oh, his eyes move. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. You got a place for him. Yeah, see, I knew you yeah, would. I got a place for him. It literally looks like Baby Hitler. What's this guy's story? In an old person's house, the people died, and they got all their stuff to auction off. And that's where he came from. And that's all we know. He's like a Robert the Doll. Yeah. He got left. A doll with no story. And, I mean, he's he looks... Weird. Wait, how old is he? It's, he's, he said it was old. Bro, I appreciate oh, bro. it. Love you, man. I love you too. <laughs> bro, this is crazy. Okay, really weird. So right now, as I put him in the seat, I heard like a bang on the window. Of course, I wasn't recording. Because you're never recording with him. But yeah, I was, uh, can you do that again? <laughs> Tiffany's over there. To say okay there's a date on the back of his neck oh wow it's perfect 1964 yeah look there's a little horseman doll horseman doll this is an old doll though man 1964 that's as old as me that's 57 years old dude let's see so we're gonna name him robbie <laughs> dude that doll's 57 years old right no wonder it kept calling my name at the auction there's a dress underneath so this used to be like a No, like it's a just doll. ruffles. Don't go back. Is it doll? I bet you it had colors and they're washed out. Maybe this one? Oh wait. There it is. <gasps> that's that's it. it. That's the doll. Why did they make you like this? You are so pretty. I mean, you're still cute. Don't get me wrong. I'm just trying to figure out why. Just insulted the doll. <laughs> I just fixed it. Okay, shut up. Wow. 
doll. This is the dress. That is the dress. What's the name of that doll? The Thirsty Walker. The Thirsty Walker. The Thirsty Walker. <laughs> no wonder they turned it into a boy. <laughs> the Thirsty oh, Walker. Lord. So TW. All right. All right. Get me home safe, TW. I just feel bad. Like the doll looked so different before, and now it's like they covered it up with. I mean, maybe like he said, maybe they did have a. He boy has personality. And they just wanted to. That's what I said. That I mean, maybe. You know, back, we live in a, in a different time, you know, like kids would have got laughed at for playing with Barbies or boys, you know, and, and 20 years ago, 30 years ago, I still played with Barbies. I'd take their clothes off and explore and be like, oh, that's what it looks like. I don't know, maybe back in the day, this kid wanted a doll and his dad was like, you're only gonna get a doll under these circumstances or under these provisions. Like we're gonna put a mustache on them we're gonna dress him like a boy, and then okay, here you but go. But they still left the dress on it. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I wish we knew the story behind this doll. Yeah, maybe we can take it to Casadega, and we can have them fill out the doll. Take it to a psychic. Hmm. I wonder if Joey, the one that took us around in the the haunted museum, mm -hmm. the doll museum, and hey, maybe he could have a new home there. But I don't know. I mean, I feel bad because Robbie's my friend. And he he gave him to me as a gift. Well, technically, I paid for them, a penny. I don't understand that concept. It's because no. they said that if you don't pay for it, then the spirit stays there with him. But if you pay for it, it goes with you. <laughs> Look how handsome little V is looking. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> you want a toy? He'll tear these things up in less than a day. Got to give him things to do. That way they don't get bored. <laughs> Are you giving yourself kisses? Who's a handsome fella? Who's a handsome bird? All right, fam. It was a fun adventure today. I am going to... What is this on my chin? I have no idea. I have not yet... I have not... I have not... <laughs> Why do you always do this? I have not... Okay. I have. That's my ear. That's my ear. Okay, he's gonna let me talk now. I have not yet taken the doll to the clown cottage. I'm gonna do that maybe in the next day or two. Still in my truck, not allowed in my house. Tiffany's rules, my rules too, but. Anyways, I'll have to make a special video just on that because anytime I bring something new to the clown cottage, it's different. It's different. You're gonna have to wait to see that video. Gotta go for now before we leave. Okay.